Alrighty guys, so what we're doing today is I've come down to this rocky area. I've actually made a couple videos here. And what I'm gonna be doing is I got some soft plastics and some bait. We just went and pumped some yabbies. And what we're gonna be trying to do is catching some whiting or any species like that and go up and show you how to cook them. So let's get into it. guys so we just caught this little summer whiting here and this these the limit for these guys is 23 centimeters and this guy's about 24 25 so we will cook this guy up after hopefully we can get one or two more so let's keep fishing right everyone so we just ran out of yabbies we got no more left but we did manage to catch that little whiting so that will taste really good and I'll show you how to cook it up right now Alright guys, so as you just saw in my previous video, I went out, caught some yabbies, and then managed to catch this 23 centimeter whiting, which is really cool. Now what we're going to do, we've got a knife here, and we're going to show you how to fill it, cook and eat it. So if you come in here, all you need to do is make a cut up here like that, turn your knife, and cut all the way down, right off its backbone, to around about here. Then what you do, flip that over, get right down in here, like this, and cut that fillet right off the skin, and the scales kind of hold it together, so you've just got that nice fillet like that, all skin there, the only other thing you need to do to get this fillet is slowly, you just cut this off, Alright, so you get two fillets like that off a 23 centimeter whiting. We caught a whole lot of other whiting the other day. We caught about 30, I think it was. It was so cool. Now, we're going to do the same to the other side. So I'll just run you through that once more just so you get the hang of it. Just a small cut up here and run all the way down this fillet. Just like that, right to the end. Flip it over. Get your knife right down there. And run it right off that skin just like this. Cut this little bit of bones off and then it should be good. Let's go cook it. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing now is we've got some flour, milk, coconut crumbs and just our fish right here. So what we're gonna do now is first off, how we're actually gonna crumb them, dip them in this flour. If you just come in here, Dip them all over that flour. Put them in the milk, into the coconut crumbs and just cover them in that. You can see just like that, they're just covered right there. And put it onto the plate like that. Right, so we're just gonna do this with the other fillet too. So straight into the flour, into the milk, into the coconut crumbs and just cover it up. The more coconut crumbs, the more flavor and put it on there. So then we're just gonna shallow fry these in a bit of oil and hopefully they taste really good. Right guys, so we've just put some oil in this pan. We just poured it in and got it on the stove and in about five minutes it should be ready. So we'll get back to you then. Right, so we're just gonna lay these fish in there right now. You can see them sizzling like that. Two nice fillets of whiting. Now they're not the biggest fillets, but if you actually cook them up with crumbs and everything, it'll be a good feed. So when these fillets turn brown, they're ready to flip. And you can see this one, if we just flip it over like that, it's just starting to turn brown. So we'll go like that, wait a couple more minutes, and then they should be good. Right guys, so if you come in here, we're just gonna take these off now. It's been about three, four minutes, and we've got them on this plate and a little bit of towel or cloth right there. So what we're gonna do is just basically drain all the oil off of them. You can see, all the oil's already starting to come off, and then in about a minute, they should be good to eat. Right guys, so they're the little whiting fillets that we just caught before. So we're gonna give it the taste test now. Whiting and flatter, they're my two favorite fish to eat. And I reckon these guys will taste so good, cooked up in these coconut crumbs. So let's give it a taste test. It 
<laughs> you gotta try this. Try it now. You can taste those coconut crumbs so much. Oh, and the meat inside, mm. if you come in here, you can just see that. It just tastes so good. Alright guys, so I'm out here with Ethan and what we're doing today is we've come out to these mud flats and hopefully we're going to be able to try and catch a few whiting and different species to cook up for you guys. Now sorry about the filming, but let's start fishing. Oh, big bite, big bite. Uh, am I filming? Yeah. Oh, yep. Are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, <laughs> dude. Dude. I'm onto a dude. fish. I'll get it. Dude, oh, it's oh. a big brim. Ah, dude, I don't know what it is. It's a trevally. No, it's a big brim. Holy. Shoot, video. Oh. Yes, oh. 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 Right, everyone. <laughs> Ethan's a bit disappointed. He was trying to film a brim catching hook, but we caught that big fella. Oh, yeah. He's 30 exactly. All right, so this guy, we just measured him. He's 30 centimeters. Ethan just lost one, but that's pretty cool. He's gonna taste great after we cook him up. All right, so Ethan just informed me that this is actually a Taiwan and not a brim. And yeah, this guy's well over legal. So what we're gonna do is gonna fill it, cook, and eat this guy. So here's how you do it. Okay, so what you need to do first is make a cut down here and way up here. And then cut all the way down up the top. Okay, ready? <laughs> Looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you lay it out like this, and then slowly cut down and cut all this meat off of the skin. It's actually working better than I thought. <laughs> right, so as you can see, nice size fillet just there, and that's all skin there. We'll do the same to the other side, and then show you how to cook it up. So just another cut down there and don't cut all the way to the end, otherwise it will wreck the skinning part. All right, so I missed a lot of meat on that one, but what you wanna do is cut down here and then cut right off the skin and you just get that really big fillet, just like that. And you can see, it comes right off the skin, just like that, two nice fillets that will cook up now. All right, so what we've done is we've got the gas boner and a bottle of gas, and we're just gonna cook it plain this time. It's getting dark and hopefully we'll still have time to film this, so let's start cooking it. All right, so what we've done is we put some oil in the pan and chucked it on this um, gas burner. We've got a bit of salt and pepper, and we're gonna chuck the fish on when it heats up, and hopefully they taste really good after we cook it. Don't chuck it. Guys, so this fish has been cooking for about three, four minutes now. And it's definitely ready, so we're going to take it out and give it a taste test. Sorry about the light, it's a bit dark at the moment. So, here we go. Oh yeah, that's falling apart. I'll grab that little piece. I will remember you. And we got this little piece here, and we're going to give it a taste test. Okay. That actually tastes way better than brim. All right, guys, so I just want to say, Huge thanks to my Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I just want to say huge thanks to my friend Ethan who's actually behind the camera right now. He's actually got a YouTube channel too. He's got a couple of catch and cook videos up on there. So I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go check it out. And well, this fish, it tastes exactly like whiting. I didn't think it would taste that good. It tastes much more different to brim. So if you catch this kind of fish at home, definitely try it out. It's just so fun to catch. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends if you enjoyed. Hit that big subscribe button down there, and thank you so much.